I'm Stefan from Square One Insurance Services. I'm happy to introduce our new show, The Room Makeover Series. In this show, we team up with an interior designer and contractor to give deserving families a total room makeover, completely paid for by Square One. I hope you enjoy this episode, and stay tuned until the end to find out how you can nominate yourself or someone you know for the next makeover. Hi, I'm Lisa from Grapevine Designs, and this is the first episode of the Room Makeover series, a show where we renovate and style a room in just two days. Today we're with Rebecca in beautiful Langley, BC. Let's go inside. My name is Rebecca. I live in Langley, British Columbia with my four kids, four teenagers, and we also have an almost two-year-old dog named Lola. I've been looking at my family room for a while and wanting to make it a little bit more comfortable. So when this came up, I was really excited. I really like the big windows that are almost floor to ceiling. I love lots of natural light. Currently, it feels a bit crowded. It's hard for the angles for watching TV. Everyone's kind of fighting over the best spot. That's one of the things I don't like about it. We've had the couches for 15 years. I was pregnant with my third child when we got them. They don't owe us anything. They've worked well, but it's kind of time for something new. And the chair, the rocking chair, my husband bought me when I was pregnant with our oldest. I would have celebrated my 23rd wedding anniversary on May 17th. I was married to Philip, and just over two years ago, he was diagnosed with brain tumor. He passed away in December. We've had a, we had a good life together, better than average marriage, in my opinion. A good dad, a good husband. And so now in our household, we're learning how to live without him. There were supposed to be six of us living in here, but now there's just five, so we carry on. Having a new space, you're not getting rid of memories, but you also create spaces that are new. Um, in our new family. Okay, this is the before picture. As you can see, the TV is in the corner in an awkward spot. So we felt like the best place would be above the fireplace, but we had to lower the fireplace in order to accommodate the TV. So you don't wanna be looking up at your TV too much because it just becomes uncomfortable. We also wanted to provide adequate seating directly across from the TV. Here, there wasn't a really good spot, so we're gonna put in a sectional. Here we have the light of the windows and it's actually quite a private backyard with lots of greenery and I wanted to highlight that. So I didn't wanna put a sofa in front of those so that we can get the light coming in from the windows. This is the color inspiration. So we came up with this because Rebecca had seen something I posted on Instagram um, and she said, I really like those colors, where did you find that? So we jumped off of that. Um, it's really muted colors, but they're muted and soft and- Kind of a peachy pink tone. I do love the color scheme, but when you walk in the room, you do see the fireplace and I'm really happy with how the mantle turned out. I'm kind of wondering if she's gonna change the mantle. And I think it's just really gonna pop. It's the first thing you see and it's just the thing I'm most excited about. Hi, I'm Morris from Van West Developments and I am a contractor working on this project. Before you start any kind of project like this, the number one thing to look into is safety for trades and customers alike. So what we're doing today is replacing this mantle, updating the fireplace surround tile and painting the whole room along with television being mounted above the fireplace. So the first thing we're going to do is get the furniture out of here, protect the floors, and set up a poly zip wall. So let's get started. Yeah, I saw it was for the use. You have a problem. What's that? They cut around them. Well, we removed the mantle. The new one is a different size. And of course, the hardwood floor does not go underneath the old one all the way to the wall. Mm-hmm. Okay, and the phone call. Right now. It's just those little bits. You can fill it. Totally. But if it's totally, like, starts to, like... 
That sucks. Ah, that's the middle of it. That's the whole thing. So it, it's going to cover it. It's not for a couple inches, it's though. Inches. Do you think you could flush cut to that joint and just put a little square in? I'd rather just cut it all the way out and put a new piece in. Yeah, but then you got to take then you got to take your tongue off. Yeah. Let's bring the mantle in. Okay. Then we can mark so the whole thing. What would be ideal for you guys, like if he came over here right now and replaced a yeah, call it back. Which way? Yeah, okay. Right. Tell me now you have enough time. Yeah. stuff for Ryan can put his new tile on. Okay, problem number two or three. Um, the art has arrived and it's a two-piece series, but it has shown up one in a brushed gold and one in like a white oak frame. So two different frames, uh, two piece art that is supposed to go side by side and that's not gonna work. So we're gonna have to either quickly, very quickly find some new art or paint the frames. This one here? Yeah. And that one over there. Okay. I'll figure out if the whole piece is coming out. Of Whatever it. you want. So the mantle came out after the floor was installed. I'm replacing a board on either side of the mantle so that when the mantle goes back on, it's good to go. wanted it wider like a 24 inch kind of that looks like a 12. So the center light fixture has been installed and it looks teeny. We can't have it too big because it's a low ceiling we can't have it hang too far down. It just looks the scale is not correct so we're gonna run out and see if we can find something different. So the new light just needs to be a bit bigger. We don't want it to be a focal point, but I just would like it to not look so out of scale. Okay, so I think we have a pretty good contender for the light. It's not too much bigger, but because it's black, it holds visual weight, so it doesn't look so out of proportion with the rest of the room. So we're gonna go for it. These things are put on mesh at a factory by a machine and it doesn't always get it just right. And these little wedges hold it in place <laughs> while it dries. It looks so, so good. Holy. You do want it as low as possible for viewing. Um, but of course, okay. Just for visual, you don't want it to like too low. So we're gonna go with four. Yeah, no, it will not work. Guaranteed. So the TV mount that fits all TVs does not fit this TV. <laughs> it actually says you have to get a Visa 200 to mount this TV. That's crazy. Oh, we're not able to take your call. Just show up and see if we have it. So I just opened this. I was gonna assemble the lamp and this is what we found. Completely shattered glass. <laughs> we will be returning this. How are you, Lola? Damn 
hanging the tape here because the heater is blowing all the wind up and I'm trying really hard to avoid putting fresh tape on my fresh mantle. So I just put all the tape here as a weight so it wouldn't blow up and hit my fresh paint on my wall. And then we're literally just watching paint dry right now. Yeah. <laughs> just set up the laser level so that I can set the height for the TV mount and I won't be making any marks with levels and tape measures and pencils on the wall and I can simply hang it with as least disturbance to the new surface as possible. done. Day one of this transformation. It feels good. It came together nicely. I have a great team of people who worked with me and uh, they did a bang up job for this one. I mean as we're standing here the paint is still drying but we got it all ready. The designers are prepared to come in and work their magic tomorrow. Renovating a home can be a lot of fun, but don't forget to ensure the process along the way. Remember to talk to your home insurance provider before you begin the project. We'll need to update your policy so that it remains in place for the duration of the work. We can also add the cost of the renovations you're about to do before the work begins, and that way you're covered if something happens along the way. If you're renovating a condo, there are a few extra things to think about. First, make sure that you get permission from your strata council or your condo board. They may have noise restrictions, and they may even have rules for the kind of materials that you can use to prevent noise for your neighbors below. In a condo, you also need to ensure your improvements differently. The condo master policy will only cover the cost of rebuilding your unit as it was originally built. So any improvements that you make or any improvements that you inherited from a previous owner needs to be covered on your own condo insurance policy. Finally, remember to use licensed professional contractors for your project. They can make sure that the work satisfies all local bylaw and safety regulations. And keep in mind that home insurance will not cover the cost of repairing poor workmanship. So hiring a licensed and professional contractor can help avoid any complications down the road. For more information, visit squareoneinsurance.com. So ahead of time, we did um, a floor plan of the sectional and we just drew where each cushion goes. We kind of wanted to combine the different sizes and colors and textures and so that we can disperse them equally over the room. Some were ordered, some were in stock and these ones were the custom made ones so we had to order the fabric. Just wanted to make sure we had enough so that we weren't scrambling at the end and so that's how we know where it's all to go. And then it just puts the cap on there, and this is a totally different chair. Um, okay, I need to put a plant on that side. So I just yeah. want to um, have those teeth there. see what we have for art, because that's my big challenge, is this stupid artwork. So. You know, this would almost be perfect if I added some some of the other colors into it. Do you think we risk $150 for me to... We've done it before. <laughs> add some paint onto the original artwork. Well, these are so cute. They are. I know, you take them away and it just pops. Really, it does. So cute. So maybe that's the better way to and go. And you know, they're not big, but they have a statement on their own, yeah, right? Yeah, they do. See, if I was center, are you center to the crack? Center to the crack, yes. Are you center to the crack? Yeah. Oh, then that's good. It's hard to see though. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so we have just finished the styling, which marks the end of our renovation. And uh, Rebecca and her kids have just arrived home, so we're gonna go greet them. Come on. Hey guys, hey, welcome home. Thank you. Are you ready to see your renovation? Very much. Okay, yeah. come Very on excited. in. It actually hasn't been down for months. It's lived in a ponytail and a headband. <laughs> okay, when I say one, you can turn around. Three, two, one, turn around. <gasps> oh my goodness. Okay. Wow. Well, it looks so much wider. Yeah. Yeah, well come on in. Let's check it out, have a seat. The TV used to be down there. 
So now we've got it up above the fireplace. Oh, it's just a fun place, I think, to yeah. have your friends. No, I love it. When I turned around and saw the room, I was amazed at how much bigger the room felt. It was just beyond what I expected it to be. I didn't think that a room could change that much. Yeah. Oh, wow. This is it is stunning. It's very stunning. Amazing. I want to take a nap right now. <laughs> it is very, very cozy. I just looked up and saw the light fixture, too. Yeah, well, that's that's light fixture number two. <laughs> oh, <is it>? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so that's our, That's like the third uh, option. <laughs> I wanted to make sure that it suits you guys. And so I did, you know, sneak in a couple of questions. I think my family's gonna love the room. I think they're gonna hang out there a lot more than they did before because it's so inviting. With four kids living in the house, I wanted to make sure that this room had multiple functions. And having a desk here allows the kids to sit here game, do their homework, and still be part of everybody and everything that's going on in this area. So originally there was a, a love seat here, and because the windows are low and it covered the window, it just blocked a lot of the light, it was really heavy. So I wanted to open that up to allow the light in, and we decided to use this cuddle chair. You can sit in it, curl up, you can be a part of what's going on in the kitchen, what's going on on the sectional here, or you can swivel it and you can watch TV. The other thing is, is I wanted to make sure that the back of the sectional was high enough that it supported, if you wanted to kind of lie back and watch the TV, a lot of sectionals or a lot of sofas are often really low and it just is not super comfortable for watching TV. So with the shelving that we chose, I liked this wood tone um, as well. It needed to be this size to fit uh, between the mantle and the wall. So it's a perfect fit provides a great place for all the books that they had as well as some hidden storage in the drawer and they can fill the baskets up with remotes or whatever. I also wanted them really high so that they had presence and this wall is a feature. So previously the mantle was quite tall so we had to bring the mantle down as well you know you need to have a bit of a a mantle that comes out a little bit in order to deflect the heat from the fireplace and protect your TV. So I think it turned out really good. Simple, sleek, and then the tile that we chose is one of my favorite things. It's just a really nice marble mosaic and it just really brings a touch of class to this room. Of course, having only two days to complete the project had its challenges. I think that we all just knew that we had to come here and just get it done. It was quite a challenge, but it was really a fun one. And I think we were able to do it because we didn't really have to get permission on all the different design elements. We were able to just make a decision and move forward. Of course, being able to do a surprise element of it was just super exciting. We often don't get to do that type of thing. Um, the clients are usually involved in the process. I always really try to consider my clients and their needs and how they live in a space. And I especially did that here because I didn't get Rebecca's input on any of this. I did know sort of the colors that she liked, but I really had to put my mom hat on and see how a large family is gonna move in the space. And we had a lot of different elements that were practical for teenagers and for watching TV. We worked really hard and super excited with how it turned out. Well, that is the end of our first episode of the Room Makeover series. If you want to nominate somebody for a room makeover, you can go to squareoneinsurance.com slash makeover or click the link in the description. Thanks for watching. See you next time.